Hey guys, welcome to the Cobra's Den. And today it is finally the day when I can review the Manika Polska 7 ounce floating UFO. Hey guys, welcome to the Cobra's Den. Well, in February of 2024, I went to the Berlin Money Fair and that is where I first saw this, the floating UFO. And I got an offer and I ordered it and it has taken ages. I mean, what are we looking, eight months? And I didn't think it was gonna happen. I thought they were having problems with it and I wasn't gonna get it. Well, it finally got here yesterday and we're going to take a real good look at this thing. So the box is quite large um, and quite heavy as well. And on the sides, you have a little clip on this side, same sort of clip on the other side. So I'm going to unclip this and unbox it. And as we lift the cover off, we have a foam. Take that off, and the first thing we see is an envelope here, or a file, and it looks like a top secret file. There we go, top secret. So let's take the little card out. This is your certificate of authenticity, and on there it gives you a few details about the actual coin. So, Manika Polska. And this is a seven ounce piece, and it gives you the details of high relief, antique finish, uh, selective copper plating, fluorescent paint, and digital printing. But they've done it really nicely. I like that. I like the way they've made that look, uh, like it is something out of Area 51 files. So I'll put that to the side. We also have what looks like an instruction manual. There we go. Different languages, that's why it's so thick. Uh, this is quite easy to use. Um, so yeah. And then inside the box, we have a charger. Now the charger that comes is American, or maybe European as well. So that's the plugs there. You can plug it into this which will give you what I think is an American adapter. So I'm gonna put that to the side. I do have an adapter already, luckily. And then here we have it. This is the seven ounce piece, which is the UFO. So it's quite a hefty lump. And on the top, we have all the markings of the top of the UFO. These little dots here are fluorescent. I don't know if I'll get them to work, but it's a lovely piece. And on the sides, we have an engraving going all the way around. And on the bottom, again, more dots which will light up. I will turn the lights off when I do this and see if it works, but I don't know if the fluorescent sort of paint needs to charge up under light. But it would be good if we can get that to work. Okay, let me put this down for one second. And we'll have a look at the base. Let me remove this. Now, the base has some markings on it. It's quite heavy. And on the sides it says, Caution. But there you go, that's the base. And as you look around the base on the edges, that's where the clips were. And you have a charging point or an electricity point here. Just there. So, I'm going to plug this in. I'll plug it in at the front, it doesn't matter. And we're going to see how this looks. Okay, that's plugged in. Let us get our seven ounce coin or piece. And we just put it on and balance it. There we go. Now, whenever I've had one of these, because I had one 
a very interesting floating dragon before. Um, you always think, right, let me spin it as fast as I can and let's see what happens. Let's get a close up of that. I love the way these are. Um, and so you can spin it really fast. Well, you've got to be careful that you do it in a way that it doesn't wobble too much. Hang on. There we go. <clears throat> now I've got a wobble on it. That wobble will carry on. Um, I don't know how it works exactly, but that wobble will carry on. So I'm going to slow it down and try and stop that wobble. There we go. Look, look at that. It can just wobble where it is. It, I know I sound like this is the best thing I've ever seen and, you know, I've never seen nothing like it before I have, but it's just really good. Really good. Let's give it, look. Look at that. We can just have a straight up wall let me move this camera so as i say you can give it a bit of speed and it as i say i don't know how these work exactly uh but it seems to keep that speed up so the magnets or the electricity keeps a constant on the speed um and i had it on while i was watching star trek funny enough um and it seemed to keep it constant um, it didn't slow down or anything. But I am going to slow this right down because I found that when you do it slowly, it just looks superb. Like, because you can move it at such a speed that it just carries on at that really slow speed. And I think that is just amazing. Now, should we try with the lights off and see if I get anywhere with that? Let's have a look. And well, ah, oh, the bloody flash. The flash on the phone, <laughs> it worked, the green work. Let me try and turn this flash off. And there it is, it actually worked. The fluorescence did work. Uh, and that looks absolutely cool. Obviously, you're not getting the same sort of effect that I'm getting when I look at this. I'm going to try in the dark to spin it a bit faster. There you go. You can see it a bit better there, I think. I think that looks amazing. I really, really like that. And as I say, the speed is constant. It just carries on at that speed for absolutely ages. And I don't know if you can see, on the bottom it has those fluorescent bits as well. So if that was lit up really well, that would shine on the base of the actual unit as well. Absolutely brilliant. Really pleased with that. So there you go. That is the 7-ounce UFO. Now, there are only 510 of these in the world. So very limited mintage and something just that little bit extra special. I love this. Um, they're not cheap. I've seen them going in some places for 950 and a thousand pounds. Uh I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. I actually really like this. It's a very special piece. I might hold on to it. I don't know. If you see it in the auction, you see it in the auction. But for me right now, I love that. What a piece. Absolutely brilliant. Not much more to say about that one, really. Um, great piece. Loved the fact that I got it finally. Um, and yeah, the seven ounce Monisco or whatever it is, Polska. Oh no, I'm not even going to say that. The seven ounce UFO with fluorescent lighting, copper plating, high relief. Um, and just a very different piece. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this very short, quick review. Uh, if you did... Please like, share and subscribe. And this is the Cobra Stacker signing out of the Cobra's Den.